We are doing Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 12, Part 2. This is, I am sorry, Canto 12. Uh, chapter 2, The Symptoms of Kali Yuga. Last week uh, we had done verse 6. So I will just do a recap of verse 6. A sacred place will be taken to consist of no more than a reservoir of water located at a distance and beauty will be through thought to be dependent on one's hairstyle. Filling the belly will become the goal of life and one who is audacious will be accepted as truthful. He who can maintain a family will be regarded as an expert man and the principle of religion will be observed only for the sake of reputation. Now this, this verse clearly tells us how this entire world has actually be, become today. In the name of holy, holy water, I can give a small bottle of water saying that this has come from Ganga. And people will think that this is the truth. The water is literally like that. So I can fill it up from the local tap and say it's like that. So the genuineness, the purity of the water can never be gauged by just that. Beauty of a human being can be just considered you can say that a person is beautiful if they do makeup and if they put on hair, you know, nice, color their hair very nicely. Nowadays, when it is a, it's a fashion to color the hairs this color. You know, the one which I have. <laughs> if you have uh, this kind of uh, silvery hair, then it costs a lot of money, I was told, to get this kind of a hair. And it is supposed to be very fashionable. So you can say I am very fashionable just now. <laughs> so this is the truth according to the world today. You are supposed to fill your belly. That means you need to have a belly full. Come whatever may. And that is the goal of life. And to say some things audaciously. Okay, I went and robbed the bank. <laughs> Something like that can be considered as, oh, the person is so daring, you know. Robin Hood. A yeah, Robin Hood will be considered somebody really great. And this is what they are saying. Then for a normal human being, it is very, very important to maintain the family. Relationships with the family is extremely important. Then you become an expert in, in life. If you take care of your family, if you give them money, if you take care of everybody around, you know, pander to their whims and fancies, then you are a very, very good human being. Otherwise not. And the principles are of religion, that is, whatever that you learn in religion, you have to do it so that other people can see it and say, oh my God, this is such a nice religious person, you know. He is God-fearing. I am sorry, there is a tremendous problem with the internet over here. Uh, it has suddenly dropped off. Uh, you will have to excuse me. Okay. So, coming back to this. So, you can hear me? Very good. So, if you want to be a religious, if you want to be known as a religious person, then you have to do it in public so that everybody is available, you know, around you to see, okay, this is what I am doing. I am a great person. I am a religious person. You can go to temples and churches and all the holy places and give a lot of money, put a lot of things on God and say, okay, this is what I am giving. I am giving you a million dollars. And then you become a great person. This is what reputation is all about. So you can increase your reputation by going to the temples and churches and all these kind of places. Think about it. So, this is what we had finished last week. We are doing Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 12, Chapter 2. The symptoms of Kali Yuga from the Srimad Bhagavatam. This is a chapter about how the Kali Yuga is shaping up today. 
we are doing verse 7 onwards. As the earth thus became crowded with corrupt population, whoever amongst any of the social classes show himself to be the strongest will gain political power. Now this is something which you can see it happening everywhere. This whole world has become corrupt. There isn't a single place on the planet earth where, which we can say is not corrupt at all. The whole world is corrupt. And if somebody is supposed to do some honest work, it is they are shunned, they are looked upon and they are told that they are useless people. That they are not supposed to do these kind of things. It's a simple case where if you ask somebody from, uh, somebody who is taking a bribe, if you ask that person, why are you taking a bribe? You know the answer is very simply this, I am taking it because my superiors want the money. And if you ask the superior, the superior will say, my superior wants the money. And finally they will say, oh, you don't know, this is, this is a very big chain. And if we don't give them the money, then we will have to suffer. And at the end of the day, the same people go and stand under a tree or some such place, drinking tea and coffee and distributing the money that they have collected. What superior are they talking about? And this world has become corrupt. You see, the whole idea that the world is clean is a wrong thing because even if a person says I have not done anything wrong I am following the rules of the law every day you see people who are taking videos with their cell phones of how the police officers and the authority is behaving with them have you seen those videos they talk of how the police officer will drag out this person but there is a very simple thing which they need to understand. The person may be dragging this other person out because he may not have followed a certain rule. Or there could be some other multiple reasons. There could be no such thing as honesty the way you look at it. Now, when we say this kind of things, the world believes that this honesty is as per what is needed in the world and not as per what is there in the scriptures. What is this world's honesty? What is this thing which we say as the, there is an honest person? An audacious person like Robin Hood is considered honest, by the way. He goes and robs the poor, I mean, the rich people to give it to the poor. That is not called honesty. You are anyway robbing somebody, isn't it? You are doing something wrong. So, we cannot say that that is true. So, we come to this other objective. Why is the world become so dishonest? And in that dishonest person, there are a group of people. Now, this group of people, they come from a social strata. They come from a particular social strata. And this social strata becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. You will find that in olden times there were kings and the queens and they were very strong. The ruling class was different. Then came democracy. Democracy is all about the public. Everybody is supposed to vote. And everybody votes and then they can say, oh, we have elected a leader. The new thing that we have seen is in the democratic world also there are certain sections of the society which come up because of legacy. My father, my grandfather was a minister so I can also become a minister. Have you seen that? Then we come from the lower class of the society and the lower class is very much predominant in this particular place. So, we can become the leaders. Reservations policy. 
there are reservations being given to special peoples and they can then become big. Deservability is no longer there. If you are, a, if you are from a reserved particular class of a society, then you can become somebody really very big because that is what it is all about. Then people are saying, woman representation is very low. So we need to represent women more. After that, what will happen? You will find that this kind of things are going to keep on increasing more and more and more and more. So, that social class which shows itself to be the strongest will gain political power. Political power has nothing to do with brains by the way. It has everything to do with a strata or a place in the society. So, would you like to have that kind of a society? We are having that kind of a society, right? Then, verse 8 says, Losing their wives and properties to such avaricious and merciless rulers who will behave no better than ordinary thieves. The citizens will flee to the mountains and the forest. So you will wonder, oh this book must have been written thousands of years ago. What are they talking? Why will somebody do this kind of a thing? What is happening in the Middle East? In the Middle East, and in Asia, in Africa and various other places. Have you not read about these kind of things happening? Losing their wife and property to such avaricious and merciless rulers. There are rulers which take over the entire land. They take the wives, they take the women over there, they rape them, they take the properties, anything that is lying over there is picked up by these people. And they behave no better than ordinary thieves. They are just taking everything away. Now you may say that in countries like India, United States and England and you know Europe, these things are not happening. And you may be considering that why should it happen over there? Because they are you know, educated people, they are not those kind of people. Unfortunately, you don't know about it. <laughs> this is the same thing which is happening in the cloak of decency. Decency, you understand? Everybody is very decent, decent. But this is exactly what is happening. Think about what had happened. Why did a, a president get impeached? Why? Losing their wives and properties. See? There are people in this world who, like yesterday, there was a minister who was seen with a Croatian girl, a, a model. And he was not cleared for a minister in one of the very prominent uh, European countries. Now this particular minister, has he, he must have been I think 60 years old or something. The girl is hardly 28 or 30 years old. The woman is only that much. But she is a model. And she is a, a, you know the beauty queens or whatever. Now he is going around with her. He went with her to that country also. And there was no security clearance given by the government. He went to China with his phone. You see, you cannot go to countries like China if you are a very important person with your phone connection. Because the data can be hacked. He took the phone and went. And so, two days ago, that minister was sacked. Why did that happen? See the verse it is telling you. And this is a European country. This is a very well known European country and it happens for that to that place also. Now, there are people in this world who declare themselves as the king of that country. Why? 
because they seem to be ruling the country very well. So they go and declare themselves as the super boss of that country and nobody can say anything to them. But what are they doing? They are robbing the ordinary people off, isn't it? And then what do the people do? If you threaten this kind of a normal folks, what they will do? They will try to run away. They will try to flee. They will try to go to some other country which offers them freedom. A kind of a refugee. They become refugees in other countries. Have you, don't you have refugee issues in, in America and various other countries, even in India? So much of a refugee issue is there. People from Myanmar, people from Bangladesh and various other countries are infiltrating India. Why is this a refugee issue? The refugee issue is because of there are rulers like that and they are very ruthless. Harassed by famine and excessive taxes, people will resort to eating leaves, roots, flesh, wild honey, fruits, flowers, seeds. Struck by drought, they will become completely ruined. Now, if I have to translate this verse to you, don't think that these people are going to become, you know, like the Stone Age people, living on bark of trees and all that. No, don't, don't think like that. Today, nobody lives on bark of trees. <laughs> they wear clothes made in China. Okay, t-shirts and shirts and pants and trousers, everything made in China, made in China, made in China. What is this made in China? So, I mean, that is very cheap, isn't it? So, they will be wearing those kind of clothes. And what are they going to eat? <laughs> Famine. Famine has not come as of now. You know, please remember this. We are having excessive rainfall today. There is so much of rain in various parts of the world that instead of drought, there, is, there are floods. Some places in the world have droughts. But they, this, this stage has still not come. Please remember this. It comes in a few decades, you know, through two, three decades down and we will still have this flood and the famine back with us. You may think it is not going to happen. It is going to happen very soon. Within 10, 20 years, we will have to face famine. Because the universe, the earth is constantly under the pressure. It is not because we are doing something to it. It's a part and parcel of the cycle. It's called the cycle of life. And in that cycle, everything repeats itself. You will find that whatever you think is not going to happen, is anyway going to happen because that is how the world has been created, isn't it? Are you not in a repetitive mode yourself? Correct? People are born, they live, they die, then they are born again, they live, they die. It's, isn't it a repetition of the same thing? What is this life all about? This life is all about repetition. Everything repeats. Sun comes up, becomes bright daylight, then comes the night, and then in the night you will find darkness around and then later on there is sunrise again. and It's a repetitive cycle. So the earth also has a repetitive cycle. And this repetition happens very, very in a constant manner. It is like a, it's a sine curve. It keeps on going like this, like this, like this. Continuously it is going to be. We may be in the, you know, the high just now. It will become low very soon. Then it will become high. Then it will become low. It's a continuous process. In life also, it's a continuous process. What is happening to you? People think everybody is unique. You know, everybody thinks they are very unique human beings. This only happens to me. No, it happens to everybody. If you are, you will go through similar situations in your own life also. Whether it is, see, when somebody is going through school and college and the job. To get the job is very tough. Then to stick on to the job is also very tough. Why is it very tough? Because, you see, the job requires a lot of sacrifices, isn't it? Tremendous amount of sacrifices required. 
so you need to go through the sacrifices and job also demands it this thing happens to everybody it's not that you are you are having political pressure in your own office no sir everybody has political pressure except that they don't say so you know some people oh i am quite happy in my job is that so <laughs> everybody's boss is an idiot you can't do anything about the bosses you see if you are the boss you are also an idiot and your boss is also an idiot everybody's boss is an idiot what to do well everybody gets less salary it happens to everyone okay when you are getting married a marriage oh it's very nice i have a happy married life what is the truth <laughs> if somebody says they have a happy married life please take it with a with a mound of salt you know not not a pinch of salt you should take a big 1 kg 2 kg of salt and yes whatever they are saying very good it doesn't work like that my in laws are very good of course your in laws are very good you are also very good my children are the best in the world they may be the worst characters on earth but no my children are the best and then every child says what when the, when the child grows up into a, a young person my mother and father are very imposing you know horrible creatures they try to force themselves you know this is what i got to do that is what I, every grown up person says the same thing so do you see that this is this is nothing but a cycle which happens to every individual you think in spirituality it doesn't happen the moment you turn towards god the whole world goes against you why because you are the villain isn't it and god is the biggest villain everybody is like that so this verse will tell you that the kind of things which are going to come are nothing but a repetition of the past except that the impact might be slightly different you know impact could be different means what some kings which will come may not be so deadly some people will be very deadly the diseases which keep on coming to you know mr bill gates he keeps on saying every now and then the biggest the biggest tragedy that is ever going to come up in life is some disease which will ki- kill millions of people and that is what he is scared of but millions of people are dying in other reasons you know because of other reasons what are they dying political causes how many people are getting killed because of political causes you know an entire community is destroyed look at it you i don't like you okay you are gone finished so it is not diseases it could be anything it could be political situation it could be environment it could be anything if there are floods there are droughts and so on and so forth so here krishna is saying harassed by krishna means uh, so, you know uh, this particular explanation is given to parikshit what is he saying harassed by famine and exclu- excessive taxes how many people want to run away from their country because of taxes raise your hands you will find every hand is raised you know the reason why because taxation is a pain in whichever place okay so they want to go to a country where the taxes are very low there are really very great people who have got the money to buy citizenships of different countries where they will go and stay in that country and say oh the taxes are low over here but please understand the taxes are not low anywhere in the world the taxes are the same okay so some gulf countries and all they don't they don't levy tax on the earnings i was told would you like to go and stay in a gulf country ask yourself that question you can't you see a woman who was going on a flight on emirates emirates is an international airline and she happened to ask for a glass of wine this is a woman with a four year child and her husband was there with her 
because she had wine on a flight. When they landed, she was arrested. Because according to the people over there, women are not supposed to drink. You cannot wear a, a different kind of a clothing. So, you think about it. Would you like to go there? For what reason? I mean, just to access, exercise your... You may be a, a British citizen, you could be an American citizen or you could be a citizen from some other country where your lifestyle says that you have to drink a glass of wine. But there, she was not allowed. Now she is in jail. Her, they, finally, her husband was able to wrangle the child away. They were not willing to even give the child, the four-year-old child. Don't you think this is the stupidest thing on planet Earth? But this is how it is. So, excessive taxes? Please be careful which country you want to go to. <laughs> because if you think that that country is having less amount of tax, the lifestyle might be completely different. People will resort to eating leaves, roots, flesh, wild honey, fruits, flowers and seeds. Well, do you think they don't eat today? They are eating roots. Are they not eating roots? Flesh. Have you seen the shows on the television? That person eats raw flesh. Oh. Then, wild honey. Today, there are places which are called an apiary, you know, you can get the honey from them. But no, I want the Himalayan honey. It has come from the Himalayas. So, they bring the honey and then they sell it for a bomb. The Himalayan salt is supposed to be very, very expensive. It's a salt. It is only pink in color. But it is expensive. So, people want the Himalayan salt. Then they want to eat leaves and fruits, raw. You will say, what are you talking? Nobody eats leaves and fruits. So, so, sorry, sorry. Go and check out the salads that everybody is eating. You know the salads that they are eating, are they not eating raw vegetables? Raw vegetables and what else? Think. They are eating raw vegetables, raw leaves, fruits. Okay. Fruitarian diet or whatever they want to call it. But this is what is already happening. In a civilized world, people are doing this. And seeds. Now, the drought has still not come. Please remember my words. It is going to be there round the corner. It will be there. The cycle keeps on repeating itself. The last drought must have been in the 60s and the 70s. 50 years hence, the drought will be back again. So, struck by thought, they will become completely ruined. The citizens will suffer greatly from cold, wind, heat, rain and snow. They will be further tormented by quarrel, hunger, thirst, diseases and severe anxiety. Now, these are some things which are going to happen in this yuga and you should be ready for it. It is called Kali Yuga, you know, na? Kali Yuga is, is this, this is a repository for Kali Yuga. So, if there is a cold, you will suffer from cold. Some countries which have never had rain have got rain this time, isn't it? Now, what kind of cold are we talking about? Not a few degrees below zero. Tens of degrees below zero. Suddenly it is cold, suddenly it is hot, suddenly it is this, suddenly it is that. So, the weather changes are going to be like that. Ah, you can blame all the plastics in the world. You can blame every other person. Trees are getting cut. I mean, you have got all the reasons in the world to blame whomsoever you want. But what is the reason? The reason is Kal Yuga. Can you please understand this reasoning? You can say, this man is like that, that woman is like that. It is not because of that. It is, nature has been created like that. 
the Kali Yuga is going to direct its energies like this only. So, if there is now, this is something which we have to accept and understand. If there is somebody in this world who is behaving like an idiot, don't say that he is behaving like an idiot because of X, Y and Z. It's a part of nature. You understand nature? Human nature is like that. In spirituality, we try to curb that nature. How do we try to curb that nature? By making you very spiritual, kind, considerate, loving, caring, friendly. Isn't that these are the words that we use? We don't try to tell you that you should go and threaten somebody, you can go and you know say whatever that comes to your mind. No, no, you're you're not supposed to. We are God loving people. Our focus has to be only the divine. So all these things that are written over here, they should not affect us in any which way. Citizens will suffer greatly from cold, wind, heat, rain and snow. You name any part of the world, these are the elements which are actually making them suffer. Today Kerala is inundated by water. This particular flood which has come in Kerala has come after 100 years. You think it is not going to come again? It will come again in the future. Do you think there will be no drought in India? There will be a drought in India. Okay? If the markets are going up in America, do you think they will fall? Of course they have to fall. So what goes up will have to come down. Everything goes in a cyclic form. You know, cyclical form. Even the earth goes in a cyclical form, isn't it? So what makes you think that it is not going to happen? So those who are rich will become poor. Those who are poor may become rich and they will again become poor. See, it's a part and parcel of life. Some people think that their life, you know, is having a lot of issues, a lot of problems. I never had any money. I don't have any money, people say. Now that person has a lot of money. This person doesn't have any money. But if you consider both the life cycles, say this one and this one, you know what do you look at? You look at only the 60, 70 or 80 years of life that you are looking at. No, 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 no. no. It is only a tiny portion in that whole cycles of life that they have lived. If in the last life the person has been rich, in this life he will be poor. Then you will be rich again, then poor, then rich, then poor. It is cyclical. So every life, one life he may be a man, next, next he could be a woman. Not necessarily man, woman, he could be a female of the species. Maybe he will become a, a lioness. Or maybe he will become a cockroach, a female cockroach if there is one. Who knows? <laughs> We don't know. So you have to understand everything is cyclical. Right? And this is a part and parcel of life. Everybody behaves in a particular manner because of their nature. Nature makes them behave like that. We say, na, this person is behaving like this. Why is he behaving like this? It is because of his nature. Please remember this. Everybody is working exactly as per the nature. And what do you think nature is working as? It's all nature, see? The nature outside, huh? the cold, the hot, you know, those things, their nature is also like that. It's exactly like you and me. Sometimes hot, sometimes cold. You know, sometimes you are, you know, get very angry, you know. Nature also gets angry. Right? Sometimes you are very loving and caring and all that. And nature is also very loving and caring, exactly like you and me, alright? So, we can't blame the nature. The nature is also flawed, just like us. <laughs> they will be further tormented by quarrel, hunger, thirst, quarrels. Oh, tell me somebody in life who doesn't quarrel. You say, na, oh, this person is so quiet, you know, so kind and so nice. Is that so? You have not seen the real nature of that person. We say no, it's only a dikhava. Dikhava means what? They just want to show the world. Oh, I am a very nice person. 
I never get angry. It's like a volcano, you know. Well, someday it is going to burst. You don't know that. It is a nature with rules. Okay? A coral. Hunger. You think hunger is not going to be the cause of all the problems in the world in the future? Today there are countries like Venezuela. You know, Venezuela was such a beautiful country. It was full of money. You know, it had oil and so many things. And the Venezuelan beauties can be, you know, oh my God, very beautiful women. How many, how many people have seen the fashion shows and, uh, you know, the Miss Worlds and all that? You'll find the, in the top 10, there will always be some 2-3 Venezuelans. I mean, not 2-3 Venezuelans. In every show, there will be Venezuelan, isn't it? You have this Miss World, Miss Universe, Miss This, Miss That. Venezuelans are 100% there. Why? That's how they are. Then what else? There are countries like Eritrea and those people, you have not even heard of those countries. There are so many issues, right? Hunger, hunger issues are tremendous. There is no food available in these kind of countries. And you think in your country it is available just now? Just you wait, Mr. Higgins. <laughs> this is going to be a part and parcel of life. You know, just you wait, Mr. Higgins. You know this verse, this particular line is from my fair lady. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Doolittle says these words. She says, Mr. Higgins. So, it's exactly like this. It's all going to be back. Where it all came from, it is, it, the cycle will happen once again. Then, thirst. Today, have you seen the price of bottled waters? I think you would rather remain thirsty, isn't it? After seeing the price of the bottled water, <laughs> you would rather remain thirsty. And when you get to your destination, you can drink whatever horrible water that is there. I'm afraid to drink water in the flights. You know why? Because they have never cleaned their stuff over there for years. Go Google this and see. You will come to know how bad the water that is served in the flights is. So never drink water from the flight. Got it? Then disease and severe anxiety. Diseases are a plenty. You can keep on naming new and new diseases coming up in this world. You know, Ebola. Tell me, somebody had heard of Ebola many years ago? I had never heard of Ebola, by the way. I don't know what is Ebola. When I was a kid, I didn't know what was AIDS all about. You see, I was, I, I was born in a generation where, uh, you know, it was that Beatles generation, you know. We were all, and pre-sex. And then came AIDS. <laughs> and everything came to a standstill. Then everybody is thinking of some other thing. So, these diseases are very, very common nowadays. You know, everybody, okay. The diseases which you have never ever heard of in your life are coming up. And you think they were not there in the past? They must have been there. Who knows? So, diseases are there. Severe anxiety. Well, 10 years ago, I had never heard of this word. Maybe, maybe 10, no, I should not say 10, maybe 30 years ago or 40 years ago. I had never heard of this word called anxiety. Now for everything I say, anxiety neurosis. You know, like I don't know what that word means, but still I can say those words. Huh? PSTD. I have never heard of this word also in my life. But because I see all the American movies and I read a lot of this uh, stuff, I now know what is that. Okay. PCOS. I never heard of what is PCOS, PCOD. But then one day somebody came and said, I suffer from PCOS. Okay. Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay, what the hell is that? My mother never had, my grandmother never had. Oh, they must be having. You don't know about it. I can keep on writing in you know, A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z. You know, all those kinds of short forms I can keep on giving and I can create new diseases forever and ever and ever. And every new disease that you create, there are a host of medicines that you need to take. And when you take those medicines, those companies become richer and richer. Think about
about it. Did you even think about this kind of diseases? No. In the past, if somebody is talking of this anxiety or stuff like that, we, the only thing in India we'll say, ye pagal hai. You know, pagal hai, this fellow is mad. Okay, we'll take him to a mental hospital. That is the only thing and the only thing we will say is 500 rupees milega. You'll get 500 rupees if you admit this fellow to the hospital. That is the only joke we knew in, as, as a kid. But today, there is a, there is a list of, you know, that uh, so many psychiatrists and these psychologists and what not there. And many years ago, there was one, one person who came to me. And uh, out of curiosity, I asked that person. I said, uh, why, is, why are you behaving like this or why is your child behaving like this? So this person put a report in front of me. The child was just four, uh, you know, uh, at that time, I think around 10 or 11 years old child was taken to, you know, the place where he under, he had undergone some kind of a treatment or therapy or whatever. I don't know what it is. I'm not poo-pooing the treatment. I'm not, neither poo-pooing these diseases. I'm not saying they are bad. I'm just saying they are a part and parcel of our nature. And we can keep on inventing new diseases every day. Just like AIDS. We invented a new disease, isn't it? Huh? Like that, you can keep on inventing new diseases. Obsessive compulsive behavior. I don't know what this obsessive compulsive behavior is. I want to keep my stuff in place. Okay? Ask Raj. She will tell you. Okay, I will ask her. Why have you not kept my comb back in place? <laughs> the comb has to be there. Because if it is not there, then how do I comb my hair? You see, my wig will fall off, isn't it? <laughs> so the idea is, yeah, I need to comb my hair, so better you keep that comb over there. And if the comb is not there, you suffer from OCD. <laughs> Does that mean you suffer from OCD? Yeah, you are obsessive, compulsive disorder you have. If I want my, you know, all the things in the kitchen to be in place, because you see, when I'm cooking, I just need to put everything simultaneously. Bang, 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 all those things back into that pan and cook it. Then I'm having shortage of time. And imagine the turmeric is not in its place. My, my vegetable is, you know, frying away over there. It is going to get burnt, but I need the turmeric over there. I need the salt in place. Does it mean that I am obsessive compulsive just because I keep the things in place? It is something which is a new stuff that is created. I keep my things in place, so I am obsessive. Well, can you call that as a disorder? If you are doing it to every goddamn thing on earth, then it can be called a disorder. <laughs> you know, I can definitely say one person who did that. Hmm. Samuel Johnson. I'm, many times I have given you this example. He will go and touch every pole. And suddenly at the 25th pole, he, may, he just may think, you know, oh, maybe I didn't touch the 7th pole. So he will come all the way back to the 7th pole, touch it and then walk forward. Uh, yes, I can definitely say that fellow is a little loose. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Chitti, you should smile. Loser. So, did you get the point? Well, these things are going to happen. The severe anxiety, of course, people are going to have severe anxiety. Because, you know, when there are going to be troublesome people around you, you are going to have severe anxiety. The psychiatrists are going to make money, don't worry. You should actually, you know, budget their expenses in a year. 10% of your income should go towards these kind of expenses. <laughs> and it will grow from 10 to 20 very soon. Why? See, the thing which I teach over here is to overcome all this nonsense. What is the thing that I teach you know? First thing is overcome your body. 
Do you know this is what I teach? Detachment from the body. Detachment from the mind. Right? And the senses. When you detach yourself from the body, all these things that are there, see this line which says, I feel cold, I feel hot, I have this problem, I have that problem. Sir, as a kid I used to dance in the rain. I would rather get wet in the rain. But today, I get cold in the rain. What do you mean by you get cold in the rain? You will learn to live with it. Okay. Doesn't mean anything. When you have to die, you are anyway going to die. Okay. The cold is not going to kill you. There are lots of patients in my, <laughs> in, in my group also over here who have told me that they are literally on the verge of a collapse or literally on the... What actually happens? Nothing happens. Let me tell you this much. Just live a no normal human life, you know, which, with detachment and everything will be fine. All the pains will disappear. Everything will go away. Let me tell you this much. All the problems that you think are there are only created by nature. Did I not tell you your own nature, uh, the nature that is there outside and nature itself is flawed, you know. So, the maximum duration for human being in Kali Yuga will become 50 years. Those who are above 50, please raise your hands, you know, now you have crossed that limit. Okay? So, you should be happy now you have, in Kali Yuga you have crossed your, <laughs> your exception to the rule of Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga life says that it will only last for 50 years. And people today talk of longevity. Huh? There is a village in Japan where people live for 100 years. All of us should move to that village then. Because Kali Yuga says, no, they don't have Kali Yuga. Maybe they have the Stone Age going on in their world. We don't know. So, but Kali Yuga says that we will all live till 50 years, not 100 years anymore. What is the reason for that? All those things which were mentioned. Famine, diseases, you know, rulers which are terrible, your own health issues, you name it, quarrels, fights. What is this, a God loving person supposed to do? We don't have to bother our head about all these things. We just have to learn to become detached from all these things. And when you become detached, then you will be happy. Okay, the next verse is a very, very lengthy verse. <laughs> so, I will read it to you. In case if I am not able to complete, then maybe what I will do is I will do it tomorrow. Alright. So, this verse says, Verse 12 to 16, these are four verses put together. By the time the age of Kali ends, the bodies of all creatures will be greatly reduced in size. And the religious principles of followers of Varnashrama will be ruined. The path of the Vedas will be completely forgotten in human society. And the so-called religion will be mostly atheistic. The king will be mostly be the kings will mostly be thieves. The occupation of men will be stealing, lying, and needless violence. And all the social classes will be reduced to the lowest level of Shudra. Cows will be like goats. Spiritual hermitages will no will be no different from mundane houses. And family ties will extend no further than the immediate bond of marriage. Most plants and herbs will be tiny. And all trees will appear like dwarf, sami trees. Clouds will be full of lightning. Homes will be devoid of piety. And all human beings will have become like asses. When I say everybody is an ass, I, I mean this verse, okay? Everybody is a donkey. <laughs> All at that time, the Supreme Personality of Godhead will appear on the earth, acting with the power of pure spiritual goodness. He will rescue eternal religion. 
So we will do the verse slowly, slowly. We will see how it, how it, you know, works towards the coming of the Lord. Hmm? By the time the age of Kali ends, the bodies of all creatures will be greatly reduced in size. And the religious principles of followers of Varnashrama will be ruined. Now everybody will be reduced in size. People immediately think size means you know, I am going to become shorter. No, 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 no. You are not going to become pygmy. Nobody says you are going to become pygmy. See, we, we, you know, all those androids that you are having, all those robots that you are having, we have tiny robots. You know, they will do all our work for us. They are tiny creatures. Those who are in the IT industry will tell you how small the industry, you know, that, that chip has become. You understand? How tiny the chip has become. So what they are trying, what is being said over here, what Sukhdev Goswami is saying over here is simply this, you are not going to become shorter in length or thinner. This way and this way, no compression. What he says is, well, we are going this way, no, not this way. We are going, becoming this way. Maybe after we reach a certain size, we will go like that, you know. We will get burst <laughs> like a balloon and we will become small then. Who knows? We don't know that. When? Those who become taller and taller. Someday you'll, you don't have to buy a ladder for this kind of people. <laughs> what it means is the personality of human beings is becoming like that. Personality doesn't mean the height and the length and the width and all that. No, it is not the person. You see, the personality of human beings is we have become tiny creatures. We have become petty human beings. Petty human beings to what level? Do you know something? There was a very, very funny incident that happened two days ago. I mean, uh, it was put up on uh, two days ago. There was one intelligent girl in Turkey. Okay. And she was asked this question. The question was, and by the way, there are four choices. Four choices were given. One was China. One was India. One was some other country and one was some other country. Maybe America and something. But remember, this was two choices. China and India. And the question asked to her was, where is the great wall of China? The question was, where is the great wall of China? And she thought and thought and thought and thought and thought. And then she says, I want to use my lifeline. You know that shows which are there. I want to use my lifeline. I want to ask the audience. And the question was put to the audience. Where is the great wall of China? 50% said it is in China. But 30% said it is in India. From the audience. Can you imagine Turkey? And the audience says, 30% says it is in India. The girl got very exasperated. This is, should I take this 50, 30, what? I am very unsure of this question. Can I use another lifeline? She used the second lifeline. Call a friend. And she called a friend. And the friend said, the great wall of China is in China. And then she answered the question. Are you sure? Hmm. Lock kar diya jai. You know that kind of stuff. And the person said, yes. The great wall of China is in China. Now tell me something. Does this verse answer your question? The greatly reduced in size? If 30% of the audience thinks like this, and this person, it's written in the question, you know, great wall of China, and that was the question. And she didn't know it was in China. So we have come to a very, very strange point in life. Common sense is not always common. Think. <laughs> Even the stupidest of the things also people don't know. So now you tell me, what is Sukhdev Goswami talking over here? Is he talking about the height or the width or the length? Nothing, he is not talking about any of those things. He is talking about the stature of human beings. Brainless. 
that is why you see i word one i i read one word no we call them donkey asses we can't understand simple stuff people will call up on the phone and say i am calling from the bank okay we want to verify your card so the person says okay please read out the card number so the com- number is da 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 all that we want to identify you by your mother's and the father's name or something like that. so my mother's name is xyz okay now we will go through the process of changing your you know password what what is your password 1234 okay 1234 very good very good password what is the password p a s s w o r d <laughs> have you seen many people in this world use password as password doesn't that tell you how stupid this world has become right there you are so when he says the bodies of all creatures will be greatly reduced in size it's not physical body and maybe tomorrow we will all become dwarfs we don't know that you know maybe some some person will come up with some kind of a, you know genetic mutation where everybody will become a dwarf i don't know that then we will have to stand on top of each other shoulder and reach the you know the latch of <laughs> we don't know so and religious principles will follow followers of varnashrama will be ruined they you know the varnashramas that are there varnashrama means you know the brahmins and then the kshatriyas and all this kind of stuff do you think that is there today there is no varnashrama in this world so now do you understand what this first this verse is talking about it's a very deeper explanation so what i will do is i will do it tomorrow it's an interesting verse to understand how asses we have become how we have become asses sorry english is wrong wrong english so we i have to lead you towards understanding how stupid we have become in life today you know stand up comedy and all is a part of that life only don't worry okay so i'll see you all tomorrow and take care you have a very good day bye